and crave warm air oh, to feel the wind blowing in Hi guys, and welcome to yet another Monroe adventure. Today I'm in the western side of Glenshiel, and this morning it was pretty gloomy coming in, but I think now the sun's up, it's going to be a not bad day. The two Monroes that I've chosen have a start point of Morvich, which you can just see behind me there. And from there you can actually see the first Monroe bearing down on you. It actually looks a little bit intimidating and it is a pretty long day. It's about 15 or 16 miles. It does say that there's a river that might present some difficulties in spate, but I think we'll be okay. So better make a start on this long walk in. So I made it to the river crossing, which today luckily doesn't look too bad. But I can imagine in spate that this would be really difficult. It's been great views through the glen so far. The way I'm going to go is zigzag up the face here, and then I think it gets pretty steep towards the first Monroe. Wow, what a fantastic place this is. And the sun has decided to come out too, which makes it even better. Behind me, you can kind of see the way ahead. I'm going up into the quarry. This place is fantastic. It's got a very rugged feel about it, which is typical of the hills in Glen Sheila and Kintail. Oh, I'm feeling it. It's warm, which is good. They should call this zigzag mountain though, as the path here just comes up and zigzags up across here. And I'm nearly out of the quarry. Here we are, the top of the first Monroe of today. That was endless coming up there. I thought I was never going to get here. But this is Ben Fada and it's 1032 meters high and it means the long peak or the long mountain. It's an enormous mountain this one. It feels huge. 
and it's kind of gloomy. A lot of the peaks around here are clouded over, so I feel quite lucky that it's clear up here. But yeah, that was a long way. So you can actually see the second Monroe from here, and it's quite a bit lower, but I don't think it's going to be any easier. So I'm going to check out some of the views up here. He roams in the moonlight, ragged dog near his side, away from the shade. The rolling owls and the eagles know his name. So it looks like the cloud is on its way here. And from here, you could see the Brothers of Contail. Behind it was the South Glenshield Ridge. And on the right hand side is the Sisters of Contail, with Skurfuren, the highest of the sisters, in the cloud. So I'm just going to get a quick bite to eat here, and then make the long way back to basically where the river crossing was, and then start heading up the next Monroe. So there's actually two ways that you can descend this Monroe. But I'm just going to go back the way I came as I'm heading to the next Monroe. But if you look to the left there, there's actually a nice ridge that goes down. I think it's a grade one scramble and it looks pretty interesting from here. But sadly I won't be doing it today as I need to make it to the next Monroe. But it always gives me a reason to come back. Whew. So that's me at the lowest point between the two Monroes. As the care marks here, that's the way I came up before, but this time I'm going to carry on on that path and go up the great bulk of a Monroe across from me here. I'm not going to lie, my legs are a little bit sore, but I'm going to try and power through it and make up the next Monroe. So I've actually made pretty good progress up this Monroe so far, but the ground's about to get really rough and it's just a case of navigating my way around all them big rocks. Well, there we go. Monroe 115 <laughs> for me. That was tough going, coming up there. But it was well worth the effort, as the views are incredible up here. And this is a glass vein, and it's 918 meters high, just into Monroe status. And it means the green or the gray mountain. I'd say the views from here are maybe just slightly better than the first one, even though it's quite a bit lower. It's just a better viewpoint back down to Morovich and I think you can even see sky. So I'll show you some of these views. What a fantastic viewpoint this is, with Morovich, where I'm parked, just down below. And to the right of that, you can actually see down to Sky, the Sky Bridge, and the cooler mountains in the background. Absolutely fantastic. 
So the sun has finally decided to make an appearance today. It took its time, but behind you can see the first Monroe from today. And it looks amazing from here. So I think I've probably spent long enough up here and I better start thinking about going back down but it is difficult when the views are like this So yeah, I better start making my way back down Well guys, that's me back down to the glen I'm sorry for the lack of filming, I had a bit of an incident, shall we say. I decided to take a bit of a shortcut and took the steep descent down here and then through this thick woodland. So let's just say it was pretty interesting. <laughs> but I think it did cut about an hour and a half to two hours out of the other descent route. Anyway, I've had a fantastic day. It's great to be out on these long days again, now that we've got the daylight back. So I better rate these two Monroes out of 10. And the first one, Ben Fada, I think I'll give that a seven and a half out of 10. It's a long old way up there. And it feels like you're never gonna get there. But the views from there were stunning. And the second one, Aglas Ben, I think that was the better of the two. So I think I'll give that an eight and a half out of 10. The views opened up and I think it was a bit clearer as well. The clouds seemed to lift. I got to the top of that one. So yeah, another fantastic day on the Monroes and two in the bag. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm just gonna make this long walk back to the van. So hopefully you'll join me for some more Monroes in the next one.